this the scoring on him was Before, two years prior. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And so when K. Ru walked in the door, first thing out of his mouth was, "Chad, I heard you been talking about me." Oh shit. Yeah. All of a sudden, what made it go completely left was Big B is cocked that Mac. Ooh. And, the, and see, in, in the kind of bathroom it was, it was like an old locker room. So it was echo, you heard it? It echoed through the whole fucking studio. Ooh. <laughs> cloud, 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 cloud. And that nigga looked over there and looked up. He said, oh yeah, see what type party this is. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, I'm trying to tell that K. Ruth story, okay? Well, the best cost of this part, I know you strap. So K. So Rue back into it. K. Rue, yeah, yeah, he, he interviewing. <laughs> yeah, he I do an interview with my head. He go, he he's practicing. <laughs> he's practicing with a podcast. Come on, Low Diesel. That's that Low Diesel with my head. You gonna be all right, Low Diesel. Low Diesel. Right. Right. Well, 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 let's get this straight. <laughs> back to this. Back to this. So yeah, um, so we we go to that studio mm -hmm. and how the studio is. So imagine. You know the glass door right there and kind of like where the cameraman is is some couches yeah we're sitting on those couches looking out the glass mm -hmm. suv pull up guess who jump out the suv k rule -Ru. -Ru. and we see it like slow motion so that's why pimp's going on a nigga because he felt like well this the scoring on him was Before, two years prior yeah yeah oh. and so when k rule walked in the door first thing out of his mouth was chad i heard you been talking about me Oh shit! Yeah, we look at the nigga run like nigga what? He done brought the nigga. Told us what? Well, yeah, you don't. We here to do business. Yeah, and he done gave and you bring us some location. personal shit in yeah. there. Yeah, basically that's what it was. I mean, no disrespect to K. Rule, but if they if there was a problem between them, that's between them. That's right. You yeah. know, let them handle that on their time. That's correct. Don't put that on my time and while well, we're at work. Handling business. That's just like me bringing somebody up here with, that's got a problem with E. Can't and do we, it. we're coming here to do this. Yeah. It's not the time or the place for that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, I, and that I didn't understand and I did agree with Chad on I thought we was, we had got putting in, in a in cross, cross. In a cross. In a serious cross. Because, yeah. because I mean, you know, we, we were slipping. Yeah. We were slipping, bro. I mean, he could have came in and just did us dirty. Yeah. And so, we don't know what the situation was, who was with him. So we, Chad did cut him up with that mouth real fast. Oh, and damn. You know, <laughs> and then let's go. Yeah. So we all left. And then the next night, we're going to go work on Bitch Get Up Off Me. And that's when all the other stuff happened. So. Well, um, all of what other stuff? Well, we're, we're, we're there and um, we're making the song. Matter of fact, it's, I was, I had just came out the booth dropping my, dropping my verse. I was out in the hallway talking to Bird, Chad that came from outside. I don't know why he went outside. I think he went outside to smoke a blunt or something. And he came in and he said, man, it's a, it's a old school beans parked down the street with the lights off, square lights. It's got square light beans. And he's like, and, and we're in South Dallas, you know? Yeah, so yeah. This is before JP moved to East Dallas. So he's, he's at his first, the kitchen is kind of like right there on Second Avenue and, um, Right up under that freeway in South Dallas. And um, yeah, that motherfucker came in that door. And Big B is from uh, uh, Nashville, had just so happened. Once Chad told him that, Big B is went in the bathroom to get the get the, the Mac ready. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, a boy walked in the door as he was walking in that bathroom. So he didn't see B is going to the bathroom. Yeah. He's standing right there by the bathroom, like here to here. And he's talking. Trying to, you know, work this shit out with Pimp, you know, about why y'all didn't, you know, nigga, you put us in a cross, nigga, we, 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 we was doing business and this, that, and the other. And I was like, oh, shit, this shit is getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, what made it go completely left was Big B is cocked that Mac. Ooh. And, the, and see, in, in the kind of bathroom it was, it was like an old locker room. So it was echo, you heard it. It echoed through the whole fucking studio. <laughs> cloud, 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 cloud. And that nigga looked over there and looked up. He said, oh yeah, see what type party this is. I see what I see. what's going on. Bobo, come here, let me, let me holler at you. And so, as I was about to take a step to go pimp, put his hand on my chest. <laughs> nah, Bobo. You, this my homeboy. Yeah, boy. this my homeboy, <laughs> nigga. You ain't going nowhere, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Just, and nigga, you, then get the fuck out of here. And so when that nigga left, he said, all right, backed up out the door. 
I looked at everybody because my uh, my partners from Starving Artists was in the Studio B recording. Uh, I had bought my little, well, he's, like, he's like my god brother, Lil Gouda Ray, he's, uh, he's in a group called Triple OC. They, was, they were in there. So I was concerned about them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, this nigga might come back and shoot this bitch. Because I know Run. Mm-hmm. I say, it ain't going to be him. It's going to be some people yeah. coming through this bitch. I looked at him. I mean, I looked at Pimp. I looked at JP. I said, man, I don't know how y'all feeling, but I think we just need to leave right now. JP said, I think you're right. <laughs> JP said, shout out to JP at the kitchen. He said, man, I think you're right, Bobo. <laughs> Nigga, we got, I got in that truck. We hit, they had a navigator. Nigga, I topped the curve trying to get up out that bitch, man. We ah, all the way down to the, you know, all the way back to the Amato. Yeah. So it was, um, it got it got pretty pretty dicey. Up in there, pretty spicy. Yeah. Up in that yeah, home, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.